I've seen a lot of videos about people who are body positive and they've overcome dieting and eating disorders and possibly bodybuilding or dieting and that whole world and they've moved to this positive mindset which is awesome and they show images of their previous body and they talk about how hard it was and they want you to know what it takes to achieve that body and this is great because a lot of people don't realise the effort and what you have to give up in the sense of family time, social time, obviously being meticulous about food, and the brain space that that takes up and, and all manner of other things along that line. But I haven't heard anyone share the experience that I had and I actually really enjoyed my experience as a bodybuilder. I loved it. I loved being meticulous. I loved being in an egoic way better than everyone else. It's because I actually felt that I was less than everyone else. I had less esteem, I had low self-esteem, I had low body confidence, low confidence, low self-love. Like I didn't like myself at all. And so doing those things made me feel a sense of achievement, a sense of pride, a sense of I like myself. And it actually goes back to trauma, it goes back to childhood, it goes back to not feeling lovable, not feeling enough. Well, if I achieve something, then I'll get validation, then I'll get likes. And along the way, you get them and it feels great. These are all exterior, external things that make you feel like you're topping up the ins inside, but actually you're not. Because once I achieved the goal, the perfect body, achieved winner, first place bikini body, it wasn't enough. The The perfection line moved. I then felt like, what can I do to be bigger, better, stronger? It was never enough. And the reason it was never enough is because learning to love yourself or love your body image, love your body confidence, get body confidence, get confidence overall is an inside job. So changing your outside doesn't change your inside. So I just wanted people to know, I actually loved the process. I loved being disciplined. It gave me purpose. Every day I get to plan out all my food. I get to plan out all my workouts. I had endless motivation because I had a purpose, a reason for being in the gym. So it was actually harder to let that go and be normal. It was harder, whatever normal is, it was harder to actually have balance, to be able to go to the gym sometimes, but rest other times. You know, to go in the gym and listen to my body and feel, am I tired now? Am I getting a bit of a headache? Maybe I should leave. My workout was planned for an hour, but if my body's not feeling it right now, or I'm menstruating. I didn't menstruate then, so I didn't have those kind of intuitions, those kind of feelings. But to actually now listen to my body and get over my plan, a plan is just a plan. It doesn't mean you have to stick to it in black and white. But that's the other part of trauma. Having black and white thinking. All or nothing. It's this or it's that. There's no grey areas. Bodybuilding is great. It is an achievement. I'm, I'm glad I did it. I don't have any regrets. And it led me to the place that I'm at now. And I'd never stop anyone else doing it. But I'd tell them my experience and share with them other people's experiences where other people said they hated it and they were miserable. I wasn't miserable at all. I absolutely loved it, but I was probably a selfish cunt.